What's up guys, no one to one else here, and today I am bringing Baja Edge of Control. Before we get too far into it, um, I don't know what was up with today, maybe I was pushing the truck a little too hard, but I do crash quite a bit, which is pretty abnormal, um, for me, especially in this game. But uh, that's pretty much it, like I think right here, I bounce, and flip. So, happens a few times, but whatever. Um, so, pretty much, today's video, um, if there is going to be a topic, if anything, it's going to be my favorite off-road games, and talking about Dirt 3 tomorrow, so if you're not going to be interested in that, you may not want to listen, the gameplay is still pretty good, it's not online, there's really nobody online, if I do play online with it, it's uh, with uh, Red's review, um, and if you guys don't know, Baja Hedge Control, hands down, easily my top off-road game of all time. It goes down to the number one spot for most of my racing games, too. There's only, like, two above it, maybe. And, uh, I actually came back to play this because it is, like, my favorite off-road game, and Dirt 3 is coming out tomorrow, so I'm buying that. I'll be putting up videos of that. But I just had to go back and play this. It came out in, like, 2008? Like, mid-2008? Early 2008? I don't remember. It's been a while. And, uh, that car truck just got uh, wrecked. Um, I've been playing it off and on. It's, like I said, one of my favorite off-road games, racing games. You feel literally every bump. That's why I went into hood cam so you guys could see all the bumps that you hit. It literally it hits, like, every single bump in the road. And it's made by, uh, 2XL Games, I think. I think it's the company name, which is the same as Rainbow Studios, who's made like every single off-road game for involving motocross or ATVs that I've ever played since I was like 12. And it was made by uh, a guy that just uh, left Rainbow Games or Rainbow Studios or whatever. I don't really know the whole story. But uh, on their forum, someone mentioned it, which I didn't really know. I just knew I liked this game a lot. And it's the same with all the MX games. I never knew ATV off-road period on the PS2 or PS... Yeah, PS2. Um, I never knew that uh, that was made by Rainbow Studios, the first two, and then they switched over to MX Unleashed. I never really knew that. I just knew I liked all those games. So, uh, getting into it, tomorrow is Dirt 3. Like, I can't wait for that game. I don't know if any of you guys are going to be playing it. If you are, feel free to look me up on Xbox.com or Xbox Live through the dashboard or whatever and see what I'm doing because I will be on it all day tomorrow probably and for the rest of the week. Like, Dirt to me is one of my favorite series of games. So the third one they brought back Rally and yeah. Um, but yeah, they brought back Rally and from what I'm reading it's not as prominent as some people want it to be, which doesn't really bother me. I love Rally. But I love the other modes they added back in. Like, head-to-head -head in rally games is awesome. I love the freaking crossover tracks. So, the fact that they brought that back, I'm excited for that, just alone. Then they got rid of Raid, which I... I know some people liked it. I really didn't care for it. Uh, racing SUVs is not something I care to do unless it's in a game like this. But the rally ones, like they had in that, I didn't really care for. In Dirt 2, sorry. Um... But, that's pretty much all that's going on. I've been playing a lot of MX vs. ATV Live, that's what I've been posting videos of, and hope you guys are enjoying those. I mean, they're hitting a lot of views, so I think you guys are. Um, even my whips one, which isn't that good of whips, it was just me goofing around and going a little sideways off a jump, but it wasn't quite a scrub. Um, that truck got owned as well. Um, that one got 569 views, and I just put up Highway 360, which is pretty awesome. I actually was really happy with the way that one came out because I got to showcase how I lean. Pretty much, if you play the game and you want to know how to do those, I lean at the same time with my body and my bike off to, like, I hold down like I'm doing a backflip. Same time, we'll rotate it down to the right. And it'll flatten the bike out and start to rotate it. And then I wait for the tire, if you look, the tire gets like the center of the screen or a little above my helmet. And then I just pin the gas, and when you pin the gas from not moving it, the gas gyro kind of kicks in, and it will whip the bike around like you're actually whipping the bike instead of just completing a rotation. And sometimes it looks like a barrel roll, but uh, 
other than that, that's pretty much the basic. If you want to do a lazy boy, you just go down to the right, then swing from the right position all the way back around to the left. Like uh, a 360 pop shot if you're a skate player. Um, you just do it all the way back around to the left, and you'll lazy boy it and let you can let go, but never um, really let go holding down because it will slow your rotation, which I crashed a few times in that video. Um, but this is pretty much the end of the video. That's all I wanted to tell you guys. I'll see you around on Dirt 3. Remember, rate, comment, subscribe if you like the video. Uh, later.